Hello everyone, Argsy here. Welcome back to another episode on American Life Farming by Lancey Boy. With me playing on console rather than PC. So, first thing you'll notice, our fill points have moved. So I've updated the map. We are playing on the latest version. So uh, as part of that, Lancey Boy did recommend a new save. So I have gone and updated everything. We still have all the same equipment. We are into day two of spring. The money's the same as what we ended up with last time. The only difference is the contracts we did uh, may still be available. I haven't gone back and redone the contracts, but I do have our field at the same state it was, which was uh, we had done our soil sampling, we had applied some lime, and we had cultivated it. So today we're going to start planting it. Well, not just start planting, we're going to get it all planted. So I've come up with a little bit of a plan for the planting, and uh, I've put a little little uh, rotation planner together so I'll just bring up the seasons menu and show you here so the temperature and everything is good enough we can plant our uh, cereal crops up the top there wheat barley oats we've got cotton and canola going and sunflowers are all good plus the root crops down the bottom which we're not going to go near at least not for a wee while uh, but what I've figured I can do well I'm hoping I can do it we're going to try it we plant our wheat now what I'm hoping is if we can harvest it in the first uh, cycle of autumn, so early autumn, that should then mean we could get some barley planted. You can see there that uh, barley, wheat and all those crops can be planted there in autumn and go through winter. Then, if you look when barley can be harvested, the first day of summer. So if we can get our barley in early enough and have it ready to be harvested on the first day of summer, down the bottom there, or halfway down, you can see soybeans and corn can both be planted in the first um, day of summer. So my plan is to try and get a three crop rotation in across two seasons. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Now if we just come over to our rotation planner, I have put that in there, wheat, barley, soybeans, as you can see. So the wheat looks good, um, but that is only because it's following so soybeans, assuming we go around in that rotation. So. 0.95, not too bad of yields, uh, but certainly a little bit lost. But anyhow, time to go get planting. So I'm thinking we're going to use the international for this. We'll go get hooked up to our uh, planter, or our drill over here, and get it filled up with some seed and fertilizer. Head over to the field and make a start on getting the wheat planted. Right, so I'm just going to back in here under the trigger. If we open the cover there, we should be able to tell that one to fill with seeds. Yeah, that is. If we open the next one, we should be able to get that filled with some fertilizer. Just be a little bit of a trickier trigger there. It's just to try and get it a little bit more centered. There we go. There we are. Those are both full, so we'll head over and get into our field and get started on some planting. We'll just pulled up here on the edge of the field. We'll get our planter lowered down and turned on. Now the only thing I want to check, we'll just bring up our mini map there. We can see the precision farming for the nitrogen. I'm just going to bring up our help menu and just double check that we've got automatic uh, application applied for fertilizer. And there we go, it's uh, set to automatic. There's a read down the bottom there. And obviously we've got the op option to deactivate automatic application rate. So that's perfect. So we'll uh, just get that turned back off and make a start on some planting. Just see how this goes. So there we go. First crop, getting some wheat into the ground. Now this is a, quite a nice planter planting at 11 miles per hour there. It's uh, going to take too long to get this field done. You can see on our mini map that our nitrogen is certainly being applied and we're getting a green rate there, so that's good. And we're certainly just looking at the rate we're using it at though already 10% gone so uh, I'm gonna have to go and top up a few times because it's gonna uh, take a little bit of fertilizer to get this field done so fortunately we are very close to the yard so it's not too far to go and get filled up I think the best thing for this is to put this on a little bit of a time lapse uh, get the field all done then we'll have to hope that we get a few phone calls or uh, get some contacts about some contracts not sure what is available at the moment, but uh, we will wait and see what might pop up once we've finished. So 
we'll get this done and then move on to something else. What a great job, our first crop all planted, so and you can see down there, pH value perfect, nitrogen perfect, so uh, it's good, we've got this done, so we'll just have to uh, keep our fingers crossed that it grows, and everything works out for our rotations, that I've got planned, so we'll get back over to the yard, and have to think about something uh, to clean some of this equipment, planted a little bit dirty pretty quickly. I might have to uh, look at investing in a pressure washer or something like that in the next little bit. But we'll head back, we'll go and uh, check a few emails in the house if any jobs have come up. And uh, if they have, we'll go and get those done. So the only job we had that came in was a cultivating job. Not a very lucrative one, not compared to the fertilizer contracts we did last time. It's only about $1,500 and we're going to head down to field 24, which is just... Uh, south of us, that direction, the way I'm looking, pretty sure that's south, bring up the map, yeah there we go, so 15 was when we fertilised last time, so 24 down here, below it, I'm not sure what crop it had in it, it did have, uh, looks to be oats, from what I can tell, so uh, we'll go down and get that cultivated for the owner, take the uh, trusty white here, this out and hooked up to our disc out here and uh, we'll make way into the other field. So here we are, this is field 20 in here. So um, obviously farmer had a bit of an issue with this crop so we are here to get it ploughed up. Which looks a bit more like potatoes than, uh, than it did a cereal crop. Have a quick look at that. Yeah, it was potatoes. Alright, oh well. Don't blame them for not wanting to harvest those. We'll just get in here, get the plough or the uh, disc there lowered down and get started on getting this cultivated. And like a true rookie, I started turning against the angle of the discs, which just makes it a little bit harder to turn. That should follow behind us a little bit better going this way. Uh, quite a big grain complex over there. I'm guessing that's one of the uh, places we can sell our crops. In fact, that's something we're going to have to think about actually because we don't, we don't have any silos on our yard or our farm, do we? Let me see some up there. I can't recall now, we're going to have to go and have a look. But being seasons, we're going to want to have somewhere we can uh, store some products when we've. Uh, Something we can store our crops once they're harvested, otherwise we're going to end up with selling them at uh, the least optimum times. Let's do a little bit more research into that, something else we need to look at. 
Also now that we know we've planted wheat, we're going to have to be on the hunt for an affordable combine that uh, we can run through our fields. And obviously we want to pick up some uh, cus custom harvesting contracts a little bit later on in the season when uh, those are starting to pop up. So we want to make sure we're geared up to be able to take those on if we get the opportunity. We're taking a little bit of a challenge in this field. We'll try and uh, create a little bit of a montage. Obviously, you don't have any of the usual tools I would have in the PC. None of the hide HUD or uh, change field of view or anything like that. So we'll uh, see how it turns out. We'll be uh, we'll make something a little bit different to normal. And I think that, just so we scan around and check, is the field done. So we'll uh, just grab these couple of little bits on the way out. It's this piece here. I'm going to go right into the corner and we'll end up on the road. Here we go, we can get the, uh, this there lifted up and get the wings folded up on it. And then we'll get out before this car arrives. Head back down to the farm. Uh, we'll, uh, get paid at some stage, we get wired through to us. Uh, we'll get back over there and figure out what we're going to do next. Oh and there we go, there's the uh, $1561 of income for that contract. So I uh, don't have to wait very long at all for that. I'd be happy to work for that man again, he is a very prompt payer. So I'll we'll just sneak into that entrance, into the yard. I just thought I was thinking before, a couple of silos out there, but they look pretty overgrown, and uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to use them or not. Might have to, uh, have to let's go over and have a bit of a look there. While we're back here, and they look like the uh, trees inhabited them, and those doors look pretty, uh, pretty rusted closed. I don't think. I don't think we're going to get much use out of those two bins, unfortunately, so we may have to think about some options for uh, crop storage. We have the two silos over here, but I think they are all uh, out, of, uh, out of order as well. Quite a bit, I haven't really looked around. Old shed here too. Oh, all a bit overgrown. Anyhow, we're all uh, 
go and make some plans to uh, carry on with some more work. Uh, is he contracting? How can I help? Yeah, hi Mariah, how are you? We absolutely can do fertilizing. Is dry fertilizer okay for you? Sounds good. Two fields. Field 7, field 30. Okay, well uh, let's just uh, take a look at those. They're quite large. 3.2 hectares in field 7. Field 30 is almost 17 hectares. Well, I think we'll look at about a combined price, including product. About $36,500. How does that sound? Well, you're more than happy with that. Fantastic. Well, we will be over uh, very soon. Well, that was exciting. What a great phone call that was to get after doing a uh, $1,500 uh, uh, com cultivating contract this morning. We've just uh, had a call about two fields to do. Fields number 7 and field 30, which are over the other side. Uh, so, I'll just show you them here. We've got field 7 uh, just over there, so not too far away. Field 30, though, that is massive. What do they have in it? That one has... Uh, Looks like millet in there, and field 7, probably Chitakali from uh, looking at that. So we'll get uh, hooked up to the fertilizer box, we'll get it put on a tractor, and get on over and get the uh, fertilizer spraying, fertilizer spreading started. Nice so with the fertilizer uh, spread all filled up there, we put the cover on it, put a little bit of a trick on the roads to do here. So I think we've, uh, we're going to go start in field 30, the biggest one done first. So I think, uh, I think we might need to pop down on the expressway here and uh, take one exit down from where we are now. It's going to be the easiest way. We'll, uh, we'll shoot down this way and get over to field 30. Just looking there past that uh, horse barn, I think that's field 7 just in by in there. Looks like uh, Chitakali to me. And yeah, nice part of the, uh, nice part of town this. Nice bit of countryside. The pig farm there, hog farm. Nice to be able to get out and explore a little bit more of the map. Nice to get out and explore a little bit more of the area. I think this is our field 30 right here in front of us. Which looks about right, looks like some millet there, so nothing more for it. Let's just get, uh, get cracking. There we go. Alright, we are underway. So I think for the size of this field, we'll uh, put this on a bit of a time lapse and Get it done.
And that is a field 30 and field 7 are both fertilised. We didn't even use a full uh, fertiliser hopper either, which is pretty good. You would have seen we've been paid in advance for field number 30. Well, not paid in advance, but we've already been paid for field number 30. So uh, I expect field 7's work won't be very far behind. So uh, that will take us over $100,000 once we get that uh, payment in. And there it is, $104,760. Bear in mind that uh, 50000 of that is a loan, so we'll have to uh, repay that at some stage. For now, it's just nice to have a little bit more operating cash, so we know that when, we need, when it comes to buying some of the other equipment we need, uh, we can afford to do it. As I was saying, we're going to need some silos, we're going to need a sprayer we're going to have issues with some weeds pretty soon i expect so we'll have to take care of that uh, and we're going to have to buy a combine at some stage so still a few things to uh, come up but we're uh, just about back at the farm we'll get back up there and get things uh tidy away we didn't need much diesel but i thought we were going past the truck stop so i'd top it off and plus I was hungry, who doesn't like a uh, service station pie? So we'll just uh, get out of here, back up to the yard. Not too far away at all. And there we are, back at the yard. we get this uh, pulled in here. I might just leave the uh, spreader hooked up for now. We could end up with some more jobs over the coming days. So we'll just uh, try and back this out of the way so it's not completely blocking the door. There we go, that's uh, looking pretty good. Right, so there we go. Uh, $104,000 in the account, like we said before. Another good day, we've got our first crop planted. Uh, we've got a few contracts done, and we're slowly progressing through our seasons. So uh, I think we'll wrap things up there. I hope you've all enjoyed that uh, second episode of American Life Farming, or as I've called it, Console Life Farming. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.